guys welcome back so today this video is gonna be kind of chill laid back casual I'm gonna be running my mouth a lot probably <laughs> now I have been wanting to do a good old-fashioned swatch fest video for the longest now it's been quite a while when I said you know what I just want to sit down and just get a collection of palettes and swatch them just so I can you know really get a feel for the palettes because I try out play with test out so many palettes that I have a lot of palettes that I use once or twice put it on the shelf and never to touch again it's <laughs> just because I'm constantly trying out new palettes I know it's it's a problem I have but one of the collections that I really really love that is a great group of palettes is the Juvia's Place palettes. Now Juvia's Place is an indie brand, black owned, and they're extremely affordable for what you get. They have a very nice variation of palettes to choose from whether you like you know nice neutral basic shades or beautiful bold colorful shades they have so many to choose from their palettes are very nicely pigmented the mattes are bold and buttery and it's just I can go on and on and on about Juvia's Place very good quality product at a very reasonable price and not to mention they have sales oftentimes that are like 40% off and stuff like that so you can really rack up and build up your Juvia's Place collection just off of the sales. Now the reason why I'm so anxious to just go through and swatch all of my Juvia's Place palettes is because of the fact that swatches inspire me. I know there's been this whole anti-swatch movement going around, swatches don't prove anything, swatches are useless, they're pointless. I'm sorry but I love me some swatches okay I could just sit and watch somebody swatch makeup all day long because for one I love color I love inspiration and I think that you can actually figure out a lot from swatches whether it's just how the color is going to look on a certain skin tone whether or not the color actually swatches the same as it is in the pan because a lot of times you can see a shadow in the pan and then you swatch it and it's like it's really not as opaque as it is in the pan or maybe it looks like a shimmer and it's really a topper different things like that maybe it's powdery or if it's nice and smooth and buttery and highly pigmented I'm sorry but I find out a lot from swatches <laughs> and you know sometimes yeah you can swatch something and it might swatch nice and end up being crap on your eyelids but I me personally I still learn a lot from swatches so I love a good swatch fest so that's what I'm doing today if you are interested in watching me swatch all of my Juvia's Place palettes then stick around now I don't know if I have all of them I know for the first one the Nubian that they came out with I believe that's the first one I never purchased that and I never was going to purchase it because it just didn't appeal to me visually but Allure Box last month December they included the mini Nubian <laughs> the mini Nubian which is so cute in their box and when I saw that they were including this in their box I went ahead and signed up for it just to get this and the Ofra highlighter that was in there <laughs> I didn't purchase this although they do have this mini palette on their website I didn't purchase it I got this out of the Allure box so and I was so happy about it because like I said I wasn't gonna buy this one now this is what this palette looks like on the inside as you can see it is a very basic palette you know nothing colorful or bold or anything like that very basic so and it's very reminiscent of the original larger Nubian palette that's why I wasn't going to buy it but anyway enough talking let's get to swatching okay so I'm gonna swatch this one first and let's just check it out and see what's happening maybe I'm missing something with this Nubian palette okay Oh, that's pretty. 
So yeah, so yeah, this little mini palette is very cute. It looks like it would be perfect just for like everyday work or you know just basic, pretty basic looks. But you know, I could definitely see why this palette didn't appeal to me. Although it is very, very pretty, I like it a lot. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and swatch the Nubian 2. This is actually the first Juvia's Place palette that I purchased. And I fell in love with it because of the colors inside. I'm pretty sure you can tell why it is that I fell in love with this palette. It has some gorgeous bold shades in here. Of course, this blue and this gold and this green. They really, really just caught my eye. So let's go ahead and swatch this. This eyeshadow palette has, what, 12 shadows. That's gorgeous. <laughs> This palette is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I'm totally inspired. That blue, that green. Oh my goodness. This gorgeous shade here, it's like a really deep plum, purpley shimmer shade. This is gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have the Warrior palette, and this is what it looks like. And I didn't mention before, but another thing about Juvia's is the just beautiful artistry on each palette. It's just, it's getting better and better with every palette, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. This is what this palette looks like on the inside. So it looks <laughs> very, very simple, basic, but you can really do some amazing looks with this palette. This is another palette that I said I wasn't gonna get when I first saw it, but I caved and, and picked it up and I'm so glad I did. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. So, so pretty. Next, I have the Warrior 2 palette. And as you can see, another beautiful design on this palette. Very, very pretty. And I believe this is their first all matte palette. And this palette has amazing artistry inside. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And it's definitely one of the best companion palettes that you can have in your collection. I love it. These mattes are just so soft and buttery. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Next, I have the Tribe palette, and this palette came out, is this the latest palette? I think this is the latest palette, yes. This Tribe, gorgeous green shades. This is what it looks like on the inside. It has this gold background, so it kind of is hard to see sometimes, but it is so, so pretty, the colors in here. Beautiful artistry again, so let's swatch this one. Watching this palette is making me want to use it. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. I tell you, if you want any inspiration for using palettes that you haven't used in a long time, just dig it out and swatch it, okay? And I just used that palette. <laughs> Okay, next I have the Afrique palette. 
and it's really really pretty it's this orange and this gorgeous purple detailing on the packaging it's just super pretty and this is what this one looks like on the inside okay this one was definitely a must buy when I saw it because it just immediately spoke to me of course but it is gorgeous let's swatch it Can we just take a moment? Can we just take a moment to appreciate these colors? <laughs> Gorgeous! And yes, I am partial to color, okay? I fully admit it, I'm partial to color. Gorgeous. Next, I have the Deuce. <laughs> Is this the Deuce? The Deuce, the Douche? I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm gonna call it the Deuce, and this is this palette that has this gorgeous white packaging. I know you can barely read that, but it does say the Deuce by Juvia's on there. Very, very pretty. And this is what this palette looks like inside. Gorgeous. I've never used this palette. I just purchased it recently. So let's go ahead and swatch it. else just get a certain feeling inside when you're looking at swatches I do <laughs> it just feels good okay now this palette is very unexpected to me it's one of those where I kind of get stuck with like what am I gonna do with that but just looking at it it's very pretty and I definitely definitely think I can rock a look with this very unique set of colors. Super pretty though, it's gorgeous. Okay, next I have the Saharan. This is another palette that I purchased recently during one of their half price or 40% off sales. I couldn't resist, I hadn't purchased it in the past so I picked it up. This is what this one looks like on the inside. It's very pretty. Very pretty. I love the fact that there's a black in there also, but it looks like those shimmer shadows are gonna be real nice. So let me go ahead and swatch it. This is another very unique grouping of colors to me, but it's very pretty as well. I went and double swatched that black because I didn't feel like I gave it a good enough shot on my first swatch. Very pretty. Next, I have the Festival palette. Very pretty. It has this like orange and red and black theme going on. Very pretty gorgeous artistry on here as well but this is what this palette looks like and if you guys wonder why I'm looking over here it's because I want to make sure that I'm giving you a clear visual of the palettes as well as I'm getting the swatches <laughs> in the right place so I apologize for that but that's why I'm looking over here even though I'm talking to you so this is what it looks like inside so let's go ahead and get to swatching So this is the Festival palette. Very pretty, fun, eclectic group of colors to play around with. Very, very pretty. Next we have the Zulu. The Zulu palette by Juvia's and this is what it looks like on the outside. Super pretty, 
this is what it looks like on the inside. Isn't it gorgeous? She is very, very pretty with the pink on the inside and this nice holographic white background. And these are the colors in this palette. So let's go ahead and swatch her. she's pretty oh she is pretty isn't she pretty yes she is I love this palette very very gorgeous colors very very pretty the Saharan okay look at this palette you guys it's gorgeous this beautiful purple color this beautiful artistry of these lovely ladies on the cover so so pretty and I do like that later on they started to put the name of the palette here on the binding portion or what is this called the outer jacket or whatever and because it's nice because when you have like a nice big collection like I do you can just take it and just you know stand them up on your shelf and you can still see which palette it is so I really like that so let's go ahead and take a look at the Saharan uh, this palette is so pretty <laughs> as you can see I have dug in here and used this palette before and that teal shade let's just swatch her <sighs> those three shades right there alone will make me buy this palette <laughs> oh my gosh so pretty this whole palette is just so gorgeous so so pretty I mean just oh, I love it so pretty that red shade that kind of orangey brown shade just beautiful 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 okay and so next I have the magic so this is what this palette looks like nice it's like a peachy color and it has these two beautiful ladies on the front very very pretty this is one of the larger palettes that I have from Juvia's and this is what this baby looks like you see how big this is this palette is like bigger than my head okay <laughs> it's very very pretty look at these colors in here gorgeous let's go ahead and swatch her Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? She is pretty. Now, I think out of all the palettes, this one has the most grown and sexy combination of colors. I mean, it's just sexy, y'all. It is grown and sexy. And I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm so here for it. It's so pretty. I'm kind of sad, you guys. I'm down to my last palette. But this one is the Mini Masquerade palette. They do have the larger Masquerade palette, but trust me, this Mini is, <laughs> is plenty enough eyeshadow for me. So this is what she looks like. Very, very pretty, gorgeous, I love it. And this is what the Mini Masquerade looks like on the inside. So it's just a mini version of the regular large Masquerade palette. So very very gorgeous shades you guys know all those blues and teals just make me tingly inside so let's start swatching
that's basically my skin tone shade right there. <laughs> so this is the whole palette. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I mean, if you can't find a blue in this palette that you like or that you want to use, then I don't know what to tell you because those are some gorgeous, gorgeous blues and some nice neutral warm tones to play around with as well. Very pretty. Wow, you guys, I cannot believe I swatched my whole Juvia's Place palette collection. All of these palettes I swatched for you guys, okay? <laughs> I hope you guys had as much fun looking at these swatches and checking these palettes out as I did. I really don't have much to say except I love Juvia's Place. If you saw a palette that you like or you're thinking about getting, I would advise you definitely go to the website, sign up to get emails or whatever the case may be so you can be notified when they have their sales because when they have sales, it's really, really nice to rack up and just grab a bunch of palettes if you can because you can usually get them for like 40, 50% off, really great deals. And you can also find a whole plethora of discount codes from YouTube content creators, beauty channels. A lot of them have 10% off codes that you can use to rack up the savings, okay? <laughs> so definitely, definitely take advantage of that. Now not only does Juvia's Place sell eyeshadow palettes, they have lipsticks, highlighters, blushes. They also sell bundles because they do have collections. So they have a lot for you to choose from. I definitely would suggest checking out the website because it is some really good stuff on there. So anyway, that's it you guys. I just want to have a little fun, do some swatches, get motivated and just kind of show some love to my Juvia's Place palettes. If you guys would like for me to do like a series of looks with these palettes, maybe I can do a few of them a week and then just start a playlist. I could do that. But let me know because you guys know I be doing different palettes every other day. So let me know if you want me to start a series of Juvia's Place looks and I will do that. So that's it you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by for this Swatch Fest and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!